This is video 16.2. In it we'll be solving a problem about heat engines. The question. Suppose a heat engine emits 6,000 joules of heat while performing 2,800 joules of work. We'd like to know what is the efficiency of this engine. And if we suppose that the heat engine is ideal and the hot reservoir is 8,800 Kelvin, what is the temperature of the cold reservoir? First we'll find the efficiency. The efficiency is equal to the work done divided by the total heat used. And the total heat used is equal to the work done plus the heat loss. Because that's the total amount of energy that went into the heat engine. Well, it was stated that the work done is 2,800 joules and the heat lost is 6,000 joules, so the Q total is 8,800 joules. This implies that the efficiency is equal to the work done, 2,800, divided by 8,800, which is 0.32, which is 32%. Now we'll find the output temperature, supposing that the heat engine is ideal. We have the temperature for the hot reservoir which was given in the previous slide to be 800 Kelvin. And this is the formula for the efficiency of an ideal heat engine. It's 1 minus the temperature of the low reservoir or the cooler reservoir divided by the temperature of the hot reservoir. And we're going to set this equal to 0.32, the efficiency of our heat engine. Now if I divide or if I subtract 0.32 from both sides and add TL over TH to both sides, I get this equation, which is equal to this equation if I plug in 800 for T sub H. And this implies if I multiply both sides by 800, I have this equation because 1 minus 0.32 is 0.68. Working this out gives me the temperature of the low reservoir to be 540 Kelvin. And that concludes video 16.2. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.